What's going on guys? Uh, long time. So I guess welcome back to the channel. I got some new subscribers. I figured I'd do an upload. Um, people have been, uh, I guess, following my page channel uh, in regards to my openness about a certain gun manufacturer about a now in production STG 44 through thankfully Palmetto State Armory um, mixed feelings about this I am super happy that the gun finally got pushed out to the public and is gonna be finished uh, my grievances with Hill and Mac will never go away as they treated all of their pre-order people again as if they were an interest-free loan and then just shut comms off uh, regardless of the legal situation, they could have came out and simply just said, Hey, this is what's going on. Can't really talk to you about it. We're dealing with legal issues with a couple companies, mainly our parts supplier. Um, and just, you know, every couple of months, Hey, this is what's up. This is what's going on. Uh, I did pull my pre-order. Uh, I'm glad I did. I, uh, I legitimately would not want to own anything that said Hill and Mac on it. Um, I have talked to other people about other things that they have built, Targets, Guns, and a couple other products that they do, and the quality. Let's just say it's lacking. I'll be nice. We'll say it was lacking in quality. Um, but I am have a point to this video besides it being a rant and uh, a hello and an update to my channel. Um, Lots of things different in my life. Not that anybody cares about my personal life. I have a product I want to talk to you today about because a long time ago I said I like to do gear reviews, affordable gear reviews. This, this is what I want to talk to you about. This is a knife, obviously. It's a folder, work knife. It is called a Honey Badger. You can get them on Amazon. And I think TriStar Trading is also selling these because I did send Mr. Johnny B one and he, uh, doesn't really use it anymore. Used it for a while. But um, this is the Honey Badger. This is the, uh, I think, 4.7 or 4.8 inch model. Uh, this is the second one I've had. Blue. Other one was green and black. I went with the blue because I do keep this in my pocket. I work out in the grass, high grass fields, and I hunt a lot. Um, if you've ever dropped anything that's the same color as your surroundings in the woods, then you already know why I got the blue colored one. Yeah. Uh, I've lost a few knives in the woods before. Uh, fell out my pocket. Hell, I lost a camo coat. Fell off my backpack. I had bunched it up, put it in my cinch bungees, and I was turkey hunting. It just got real humid, real hot, middle of the spring back home. And uh, I retraced every step I took for probably two miles. Camouflage rain jacket in the woods. 3D like life for like print. Yeah. So I learned my lesson over the years. But this knife in particular, it's like 50 bucks. This one is the 8CRV 13 MOV steel. It's pretty cool. They engraved the honey badger or laser engrave or etch it in there. Has the type of steel on the back so you can check it out. The construction's pretty good. You got self tightening. Uh, Retention system and rotational bearing system. It is a simple trap lock or a push lock style knife. Belt clip, adjustable, retained with two bolts or Torx head screws, both sides. Body is self adjusting or uh, adjustable as well. They send you a tool. Comes in a pretty nice cardboard box. I don't have one present. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere amongst the pile of scope boxes that I have in my closet. Um, gave my first one away to a friend who passed. Huge knife guy. Uh, old roommate came back in, apparently kept a copy of the key after he had passed. Stole every knife he had. And Nick was a prolific knife collector. He had some very, very nice and expensive um, historical knives, like old stuff, not like reproductions, like legit an Arkansas toothpick that was a battlefield find from the Civil War. So, like, huge knife guy. 
um, taught me a lot about knives. Taught me that, you know, steel matters. And I am a welder and I know steel matters, but knife steel particularly is different than like structural or fabrication steel that I normally use. And it's a whole different world. But to the point of this video, I was going to do it eventually, but yesterday at work kind of prompted me to do the video again. Um, or, or push the video up front. I was doing grease maintenance on my skid steer, and some of you already heard skid steer and know where this is going, and you are not wrong. For those that don't understand what skid steer is, it is a tracked vehicle with hydraulic arms. Uh, ours is the top of the line Husqvarna, the SV95-S or 2 or whatever it is. Um, and I was doing the grease maintenance on it, as I do every other Monday. And I set this down, I had used the tip to clean out one of the Zerk fittings. <laughs> and uh, I set, the, set it down on the track, laid open. Uh, again, some of you already know where this is going. Uh, I had to go inside, deal with customers. I am a gunsmith. I had to uh, assess a gun that I'm going to be working on. And if anybody wants to see me like do some gun stuff, I do a lot of cleaning videos. I do a lot of cleanings on guns. I could make videos about that. Um, but anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Dude. So I came back out. Skid steer needed to get moved. Had already put the tools away. Jump in the skid steer. Fire it up. Hit reverse. This goes down, down. Skid steer stops. And I'm in the point where I'm doing a zero point because there's some cars next to me because I parked right in front of the store to do the maintenance as it was closest to the tools. And I do a zero point and I just stop like quarter way through the zero point turn, which means I am pivoting on the track that this knife is under. And I immediately just stop. I get out, I look, I cannot see the knife. I presume, judging by the amount that I had moved, I kind of know where it is. It's just after the rear main drive, hydraulic drive wheel. So I drive straight into the grass in front of the store, pull the knife out. And there's nothing broke. There's nothing bent. The blade is still sharp. The edge was not dinged up and the knife went under there, this side down, just like this, it was laying in this orientation on the ground. And the only damage, and I will show you, there's nothing on the belt clip. There's nothing in the in the locking system. It's all straight. The edge is straight. The blade is straight. The only damage is that. Now this is a 23,000 pound piece of equipment. At least I think that's what it weighs, if the stickers are right. Something like that. It might be a little less. But either way, this is in in the double digit tonnage. Like this is it's it's a lot. It's a real lot. Um And that's it. It's like fifty bucks on Amazon. They're uh, made it out of the company is out of South Africa. They are made on site, holds an edge. I use this thing every day, multiple times a day. I've used it as a screwdriver. I've used it as a set of friggin' a pry bar to pry things out of guns or out of wood. I have abused the tip. I have batoned this thing into wood with the, the, the shaft of a shovel. Um, I have not reprofiled the edge. I have not reprofiled the tip. They make a, a harder version, a, a little bit better, nicer steel on the blade. They make a D2 series steel blade. Um, it comes in this shape. It comes in this shape, but smaller. I think this is the biggest one in this model, the drop point. They make a serrated, uh, half serration straight blade, or it's drop point as well. They make a uh, fancy kind of like a combative butcher blade style thing. Um, Holds an edge real good. Every Friday I come home, I run it through my electric sharpener about, I don't know, five times on each side of the edge. And then I strop it. I do about a 40 pass drop, so 20 on each side. I mean, it's not shaving sharp. When you get it, it is. It's it's actually scary sharp when you when you get it. Um, like, you can just anything. So, uh, I don't need anything that sharp. But, um, yeah, like it holds an edge. It'll, it'll go all week. I, I use this thing. I pull sh casings out of guns with this, like a, you know, a pry bar. 
Uh, rope, wood, two by fours, four by fours, railroad ties last week. Yeah, I had to pry a fixed fitting out of a railroad tie because it was keeping it pegged to the ground and I couldn't get the fork under it to lift it up with a bucket underneath it to lift it up. Um, yeah, so for 50 bucks, if you are looking for a good work knife or an EDC knife or just a general purpose knife or you just like decent knives that are not going to break your bank, the Honey Badger, I forget the name of the company. I feel horrible. I forget the name of the company, but the Honey Badger, they're on Amazon. Just type in Honey Badger folding knife. Hit search. I think shipped to my house in Texas. It, this one was right at 50 bucks or $52 shipped. I think they're like $48 a pop or something. They run sales all the time. Um, you can Google who makes the Honey Badger folding work knife. That way you can search the actual brand so you're not buying from some other store. Because they do have a, they do have a, a store on there. Um, what else? I got some stuff coming down the works. Uh, I got a, a PSA dagger. I know a lot of people have already reviewed that. Uh, I'm going. I'm going for like a two thousand round review. In fact, oh, there's mine right here. As it sits right now, it's actually doing double duty nightstand gun, and I'm too lazy to take my carry gun out of the holster. So it's, now it's the around the house gun too. Uh, threw a Holosun on it. Still running my forty five uh, Tyrant M O light because it was cheap. Surprisingly, I know they get a lot of crap for being an Olay. I know they are Chinese made. Um, when Mr. Guns and Gear throws a sale down that you can't refuse the price on. Uh, it's good. Battery life's pretty all right. I've changed the battery life for, uh, out twice on these. Now I think it's on its third set of batteries. But in its defense, I was using it for a while as a uh, illuminator for a digital night optic that I was hunting coyotes with. So... Batteries don't last too long when you're constantly sweeping a field. Uh, Hollow Sun. I got another one. This is the uh, 407G. Love it. Glock magazine in and out. It does come with PS or uh, P mag. And then it's not a Glock mag. And I like P mags. I'm not a Glock guy. But Glock mags are king. Uh, I will delve into this further at a later date. If anybody has any questions, about anything, they want to ask me something, or you've got a content idea you want me to do, like, hey, show us how to clean whatever, or, you know, I, I am a gunsmith, I work on a lot of stuff. If I get interesting stuff across my bench, I do take pictures, but maybe I could start making uh, a video or two. Um, maybe I'll actually get a camera and not use my phone. Other than that, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I usually close out with uh, saying thank you and uh, God bless, pray for the troops. But now it's uh, God bless, buy ammo, and question everything you hear on the TV. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe.